Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about some basic rules of integration. The first rule how to get the integral of any constant like k according to or with respect to x. You will multiply this constant k by x, the same variable here, okay, then adding a constant of integration which is called c. Uh, number two, the power four, the, the power rule. The integral of x to the power n with respect to x equals what? Equals x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, then add the constant of integration in which n not equal to negative 1, because you cannot divide by 0 here. Negative 1 plus 1, it will be 0, then we cannot divide by 0 here. For example, when we want to evaluate the integral of 3 dx, you can look for 3, it is a constant like k, then you will multiply k by x, then it will be 3x plus the constant of integration which is c. Example 2. If you have integral of negative 2 with respect to x, dx, it will be negative 2 is a constant, then it will be negative 2 multiplied by x, it will be negative 2x plus c. Number 3. Integral of third dx, it will be third is a constant. Then apply the first rule. You will multiply third by x. It will be third x plus the constant of integration. Four. If you have integral of pi dx, pi is a constant. Then you will multiply pi by x, adding to it c. Number five, if you have integral of square root of five dx, square root of five, it is a constant, then you will multiply it by x, then radical x, radical five, sorry, x plus c. This is for applying the first rule. For the second rule, the power rule, Number one, evaluate number one, integral of x power three dx. x power three is a power four, x raised to power three, and the rule it will be x to the power 3 plus 1, which is 4, and divide it by 4, adding to it c. Constant of inventory. You can rewrite it as 1 fourth x power 4 plus c. Number 2. If you have integral of 1 over x power 3 dx, here x power 3, but here 1 over x power 3. This is a rational form. Then you can rewrite 1 over x power 3. By following this rule, you know that y over x to the power n equal, equals to what? Equals x to the power negative n. This is an exponent rule. Apply this rule to get integral of x to the power negative 3 with respect to x. Now x power negative 3 is a power 4. And you can add 1 to the old power, which is negative 3 plus 1. It will be negative 2. 
and you will divide by negative 2 then add the constant of integration you can simplify this one it will be negative positive divided by negative it will be negative 1 over 2 x power 2 plus c this is simple form 3 if you want to find integral of cubic root of x with respect to x cubic root is not a power form then you can rewrite it as integral of x to the power third dx then it will be you will add 1 to the third and it will be 3rd plus 1 it will be 4 over 3 and you will divide by 4 over 3 which is mean you will multiply by 3 over 4 plus c thank you